Today we have a Dutch Christmas classic, stove pages or stewed bars. It's a multi-purpose dish. It can be served warm, cold, as a starter, a side dish or as a dessert. It's super easy to make one or even two days in advance of your Christmas dinner, so that will definitely take some stress away. For this recipe, I used 1.2 kilos of pears. Further, I used a cinnamon stick, about 4 clovers, 2 star anises, a bottle of red wine, and roughly 100 grams of sugar or caster sugar. We start off with opening the bottle of red wine. Don't try to mess around with a knife opening the capsule. Just pull the fin off. After, rotate the bottle instead of your opener. Once it's in, you can start twisting the opener. Let leverage do the job. Put a high pan on your stove and pour in the wine. Add the sugar as well and give it a good whisk to dissolve. Don't forget to add the spices. Now we peel the pears. Do not take off the stem if it's there. In the Netherlands, the Giza Wilderman pears are mainly used for the stove pages. However, some years ago I made this dish in Hungary for my Hungarian in-laws. And Giza Wildermans were not available. Yet, they turned out nice and my girlfriend's family loved them. So I would not worry too much about it if you cannot get your hands on this particular kind of pear. Lastly, create a flat surface by cutting off a piece from the bottom. This way the pears can stand without falling over, which makes the presentation in the end a lot easier. Now our pale friends are ready for their tanning session. By stewing them in the wine, they will get a nice deep red color and they will soak up all the flavors. Place them straight up in the pan on their flat bottoms. Add water until you reach the stems. If it's a tight fit, they stay upright and they will color evenly. Otherwise, they start to float. Like mine. Although that's not a big problem but you might want to turn them once or twice during stewing. I tried to fill up the space with an apple, but yeah, no success. It's time to start stewing. Place the pan on a low heat and stew them for about 90 minutes to three hours. It's not in the video, but put a lid on the pan. Let's have a look. Yes, success! Unfortunately, the shot is a bit dark. I should invest in a better camera. Now you see why we leave the stems on. Your pears will look nicer on the plate when the sauce is a bit thicker and sticks more to the pears. One way to do this is to evaporate some water by boiling a part of the sauce. Obviously, this clip has been sped up. Please boil it slowly. Let's take a look on the inside.
and of course, quick taste. If needed, put them in a clean pan or container and fill it up until the stems of the pears. After cooling down, they can easily be stored in the fridge for two days. Like I said, this is a super easy recipe and it's very hard to mess this one up. You can reheat them and serve them next to the main course, use them as a starter or a refresh in between courses, or you can even make a dessert out of them with vanilla ice cream, for example. I'm very curious what you can come up with yourself. Please let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and I wish you and your family a Merry Christmas and I see you all next year. Bye!